subscribe to tech me spot channel and press the bell icon and never miss another update hi guys in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to download and install sublime text 3 on windows 10 okay so what you need to do you need to go to this website sublimetext.com i will place this link in the video description you can check it out okay so let me copy this just open your web browser go to address bar and type sublimetext.com and hit enter on the keyboard uh, you can see guys we are on this website of sublime text okay and guys you can also open this website by using another method okay so just go to google.com and just do a search for sublime text and you can see here we have the website the first link sublimetext.com uh, sublime text a sophisticated text editor for code markup and prose okay so just click on this link and we are on this website okay and after opening the website you just need to click on this download this link at the you know top menu okay so click on this download link and here we have the uh, sublime text 3 you can see sublime text 3 is the current version of sublime text okay and here we have the uh, various versions like for uh, mac windows windows 64 bit okay so if you don't know uh, which version of windows 10 you have okay so you just need to uh, open your command prompt in order to check okay so just go to the search box and type cmd here we have the command prompt just open it okay and you need to write this command wmic os get os architecture okay and hit enter on the keyboard uh, you can see guys i have this 64 bit okay so i just need to download this version so just click on this let me click on this windows 64 bit okay and after that uh, you just need to choose the destination where you want to save this executable of sublime text 3 okay so i want to save it on my desktop so i just need to select that and then click on the save button at the bottom left of my browser you can see it's downloading okay guys so the file is now downloaded so let me go to the place where i downloaded it i downloaded it on my desktop so here i have this executable file so let me double click on it to run the setup file okay so you can see uh, uh, this is the destination folder where it will be installed okay let it be default and then click on this next button and add to explorer context menu just select this option check this option and then click on the next button and then click on this install button uh, you can see it's installing and it's done okay completing the sublime text 3 setup wizard so just click on this finish button okay so our sublime text 3 is now installed so in order to open this just go to this search box and if you don't see the search box over here just right click on this windows you know this icon and click on this search and just type sublime text 3 uh, you can see guys here we have our sublime text 3 okay and you can open it and also you can pin to this you know to taskbar so just uh, just do a search for sublime text and uh, right click on this okay and here we have the pin to start pin to taskbar option so just click on this pin to taskbar if you want to pin it to the taskbar so you can see we now have this uh, sublime text is now pinned to taskbar we can just click on this to open this uh, you can see guys it's now opened okay and you can go to the file create a new file okay and just write the code and after writing the code you can just click on the save button and you can select the various types of file suppose if you want to save it as html you can select that give it a name and click on the save okay and let me open one file for you guys 
So let's see how the code will look in this Sublime Text 3 editor. So let me go to my desktop. Let me open this HTML file in this. And you can see guys, this, this is how the code will look in this Sublime Text editor. And on the right, you can see here we have the compact version of code. You can just scroll through and browse uh, your code from here, okay? Uh, so guys, that's it. In this way, you can download and install Sublime Text 3 editor on Windows 10. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please support this channel by subscribing to it. Thanks. Bye-bye.